Hey everyone, it's Apostle Michelle Peterson and I wanted to do another quick video today. This is something that's very, very special to me. I like sharing this testimony of mine because um, it's about honor. It's about honor and how uh, important honor is to God, and especially when it comes to His people. God wants us honoring His people, okay? So I'm going to share, share with you guys a testimony that actually happened um, with me not honoring someone um, that was very close to God and I didn't honor them and uh, I want to share that testimony with you guys okay you guys so I'm going to talk about honoring a mentor uh, that I had the Lord sent this beautiful lady to me um, she found me I think she found me offline and um, she contacted me and this was way before you know I was consecrated as an apostle um, I was this was really really young um, I mean I was really young in uh, uh, ministry and I had been like, you know, doing deliverance and doing deliverance on myself and trying to get all of this stuff out of me. And it was like so much stuff in me because of generational stuff and all the sins that I did. And so when she came into my life, the Lord has sent her into my life. He said, well, she told me that the Lord sent her. Um, she was going to be my mentor when it comes to deliverance ministry. She was in deliverance. She was older. She was probably like maybe like 60, 70 uh, late 60s you know maybe 70 I'm not for sure but she was a lot older and uh, so she had been in deliverance uh, for a while and so the Lord sent her to me and she was supposed to be my mentor and so I was so excited in the beginning when I met her I was like wow you know you're in deliverance and, you know and then she told me that the Lord sent her to me to mentor me and so in the beginning I was so uh, I was just so excited and happy because you know just just to have someone like that you know and that the lord was uh has sent me and so during that time like i was doing extensions i was doing hair and um uh, she was caucasian and so um i would do her hair you know she her hair was thinning and she wanted it to look thick and so i i did her hair and she liked it a lot it looked really really natural and so she she wanted me to do her hair and so the thing about um that was that I started treating her I guess more like a client like I would treat my clients like I didn't like doing hair all the time sometimes I just didn't want to do hair and sometimes I would not you know I would just respond that I'm busy or you know I would kind of just you know um, you know not respond but so I started seeing her more as um, a client but before I start seeing her more as a client I'll tell you guys she actually ministered to me I went to her house and um, I wanted to do a session with her because it was so many things that um, I was struggling with and it was just like I just couldn't get certain things it was just like so much stuff that was in my blood and um, on me and so I remember being around her and she was going to do a deliverance. She was going to do a session with me. But I remember being around her. And one of the things that she said that really made me want um, to desire to have a close relationship with God like her. Was she said that if one hour goes by and she hasn't heard the Lord speak to her. She gets nervous. That's like rare for you know for her to be in that type of situation. And she's not communicating with the Lord and hearing his voice every hour. You know, when she said that, I was like, wow, I would love to be able to just have a relationship with God like that where, like, you know, I'm hearing his voice, like, all the time, you know. If an hour goes by, that's like a long time to not hear God's voice. So I was just, like, fascinated about the relationship that she had with God, a really close relationship she had with him. Um, and then she had ministered to me, and when she, I was at her house, and she was ministering to me. And one of the spirits that she called out was an orphan spirit. And um, my mom didn't raise me. She left me with my grandparents for them to raise me when I was younger. And so she called out an orphan spirit. And when she called this orphan spirit out of me, you guys, I started, like, from a deep place within my soul, I started weeping and crying. Like, it was deep. And she was calling the spirit out of me and it was coming out. I mean, it was coming out because it was like, it was so deep. It was like such a bad hurting spirit. You know, it was like so much hurt. And I believe that spirit came in 
um, when my mom really, really hurt me really, really bad, I believe that's when that orphan spirit came in. But the, the weeping and the crying that was like so deep in me was coming out. And after she got that spirit out of me, I felt like I was naked. I mean, I felt like someone had took every piece of clothing I had off of me and I was just naked. Like I was exposed for someone to attack me because I used to really guard myself to try to protect myself. And when that spirit came off of me, and she probably got a lot of stuff off of me that day. Um, and I'm pretty sure it came back after that, but, <laughs> but she probably got a lot of stuff off of me that day. Um, she did go through a, a, a few more things, but the orphan spirit is the one I remember the most. And after that, I felt vulnerable. Like, I felt like people could hurt me. And I wanted to feel like that, you know? I wanted to feel like that. And, but after experiencing that with her, and then I was doing her hair, and then I started treating her not with honor anymore. It was treating her more like a client. I didn't treat her with the honor that who she was, um, the relationship we had, she had with God, and who she was and how she was trying to help me. I didn't treat her with that type of honor. And so what happened was the Lord removed her from my life because I didn't know how to honor her. And um, she was walking with the Lord really, really close. And, you know, that is something that when you have a person like that, that's walking with the Lord so close, you have to honor them. I mean, you have to honor them because they're so close with God. If you start dishonoring them, the Lord will move them out your way because you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> you know, it can be dangerous for you to not honor someone that has that type of relationship with God. And I tell a lot of people this story. Well, actually, it's a story, but it's scripture about when someone has a relationship with God, you don't go around dishonoring them. And I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to share this scripture with you now. Well, the scripture is about Moses. Whenever Moses' sister, uh, uh, Miriam and Aaron, and, and they were both basically um, dishonoring Moses, basically saying, well, God speaks to us too. He is, Moses is not the only one that God speaks to. He speaks to us too. And so they start seeing themselves as common on the same level as Moses. But Moses was not on the same level uh, as they were. And God, you know, agreed with that. So God was very upset with them. I mean, they were dishonoring Moses. So the sister Miriam, she got struck with leprosy. They had to pray and get that stuff off of her. You know, she didn't know what she was doing. She was dishonoring someone um, that had a serious, close relationship with God. And so sometimes that person has to be removed out of your life because you could be cursed or something bad that can happen to you because you don't know you're touching, you're not honoring someone that deserves the highest honor because of their relationship with God. And so the Lord had to remove her out of my life. But I wanted to share that testimony with you guys. If you have someone that is a good heart, the Lord has sent them in your life to help you, to minister to you, whatever the Lord has sent them to you, and they have a close relationship with God, if you get to the place where you don't have honor and respect for them anymore, just leave. <laughs> you know, uh, just leave. And maybe you already had that type of person in your life and they were removed. But just know honor is very important to God. He wants you to honor his people. He wants people to honor you because you're his child. You have a relationship with him. That's really important. And maybe he's moving people out of your life because they don't honor you. You know, just see it as he's protecting them. You know, because... You know, they may not know how to honor you. Okay, so I wanted to share that with you guys. Apply that to your life. Uh, try to honor all of God's people, especially the ones that are seriously walking with God, the older people. Treat them with the highest honor, um, all of God's people. Treat them with the highest honor possible, okay? All right, you guys, so I, have you, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. God bless.